You want to sound like Future, Drake, Travis Scott, and all these other rap singers? <laughs> well, you're going to need you some auto-tune, man. Eh? What up, yo? This your boy, Wavy Wayne. All right, that's right. That's me. All right, make sure you check out the website, wavywayne.com, and get you one of these clean joints. You know what I'm saying? Look at the back, though. Look at the back, though. Hear the difference, okay? You got to hear the difference, man. That way, when you work and you engineering, your clients be like, oh, I, I actually do hear the difference. Because you've been watching Wavy Wayne videos on YouTube, so you cold with the mixing. But let's get to the topic at hand, man. How do we get that future sound? How we get that Drake sound? How we get that NBA young boy sound? Or whoever it is, everybody sound the same nowadays. And you know why? Because we got auto-tune. Maybe you just want to sing and sound good and you know damn well you can't sing. But now with, with auto-tune, you can sound good, all right? So today, we're going to explore how... Um, we should use auto-tune in a session, how we can apply it and make it sound good and get that radio sound that we are aiming for, all right? So um, I always want to insert the auto-tune plugin directly on whatever track I'm working with. Now, the auto-tune plugin that I use while recording is the auto-tune EFX. I also have auto-tune Evo, uh, which is comparable to auto-tune 8 or whatever other auto-tunes there are. But using those other auto-tunes... Um, you basically have a latency that is incurred on that track automatically, right? And this may not be, this may be why, uh, you know, you feel like you need to apply the auto tune later. You got to get that auto tune EFX. It's even cheaper. And I like that because it's super simple and it helps to, uh, the artist can use it while we recording. And if later I need to do even more fine tuning of the auto tune, I can switch over to one of the more sophisticated auto tune plugins. But while I'm recording, uh, I always find that the EFX works perfectly. And sometimes I, I stick with that, uh, throughout the final mix. The first thing that you want to do, um, when you are applying this auto tune, is you want to actually have it on the track prior to your artist singing. Like, while they in the booth recording, you want to make sure that you got the auto-tune already set up and on the track. This is going to help them to be able to hear and manipulate the auto-tune, right? Auto-tune is an instrument in its own right. So you want to be able to manipulate it and make it work for you. Now, it could very well work applying it after, but if you're going for that heavy auto-tune effect, I definitely advise that you insert the auto-tune plug-in before you start recording so that you can hear the effects as it's happening, right? You don't want to get to the end of recording and then you throw that auto-tune on there and then you hate how it sounds, right? If you have it on there, um, as you're recording, that gives you the chance to manipulate it, to do whatever you need to do to make sure that that auto-tune is right and hitting how you want it to hit, all right? Um, and it also makes your artists uh, kind of, uh, 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 it forces them to change the way they singing or the way that they are performing to make the auto tune sound correct right so you don't have to do so much later they can hear it they can hear it when it mess up they can hear it when they go out of key and uh you know hopefully they'll fix themselves if the auto tune ain't ain't snapping just like they want to remember auto tune it basically is quantizing your notes to the nearest note so if you are supposed to be on this note but you all the way over here somewhere mm. <laughs> Auto tune may not sound like you want it to sound, so it's better to go ahead and apply it as you're recording. To do so, you always want to just insert the auto tune plugin directly on the track that you're going to be recording. So I'm going to go ahead and click on inserts, go to plugin, go to my pitch shift, and my auto tune EFX. That's the auto tune plugin of choice for me. Okay. Again, this is a low latency plugin. I ain't going to experience that latency. While I'm talking about latency, let me go ahead and check my playback engine since I am about to record. Cool, I'm down to 64 samples. Remember, when you're recording, keep that hardware buffer size low. Low for recording, high for mixing. All right, cool. So I got the Auto-Tune EFX. It's a low latency Auto-Tune plugin. So I'll be able to use this without having any delay um, in my headphones or anything like that. So the first thing I want to do before I start recording is actually find the 
key of the song, all right? If we look at the auto-tune plugin that we have here, it's pretty simple, all right? You got the uh, voice type, and you can choose between soprano, alto tenor, baritone bass, or instrument. Um, you also have the key. This is where you select the key of the song. Uh, so many of us just keep it at that C uh, major and, and rock out there and be like, hey, what is going wrong? Or even have it on chromatic and, and, and this is all the notes. And then, but when the artist goes off a note, all the notes here are, are selected. So um, they the auto tune still won't help as you want it to, right? So it's important to find the right key um, and choose between the major scale or minor scale. Most songs are in minor scale. So I'm going to start out there. At the bottom, you have your effect type. You can choose whether you want hard effects, soft effects, or only pitch correct. Most of us are going to want either that hard effect or soft effect. Um, when I'm working with a singer or something like that, I'll go more with the pitch correct um, if this only just needs some very light tuning just to kind of perfect uh, the notes um, but not hear the auto-tune effect. So if I want that effect, I'm going with this auto-tune EFX and I'm going with the hard effect. And that's how I'm going to start off on right now all right so the first thing i'm going to do let me actually keep that open first thing i'm going to do is find the key so i'm going to use this little uh app on my phone uh, and i'm not using mixed in key or any other software like that this is just a simple piano app that i got i like this app a lot basically what it'll allow me to do is just you know play along with the record and find the key by listening, right? By listening with my ears um, and finding the root key. Now, when you find the root key, that is typically gonna be the key at which the, the key of the song is in. And you do this as the song is playing because you wanna match the auto-tune key with whatever key the music is in. That's very important. That way your vocals will be matching the music. Super important or major key. Or minor key. Is it major key or minor key? I don't know. If it's major key, it probably sounds happy and upbeat. If it's a minor key record, then it probably sounds, you know, a little more sad, a little more gritty, right? Um, most songs are in minor key. All right, but again, you're going to see how I find this uh, uh, key just by playing along with the record. So I'm just going to go ahead and play this. And I'm just playing along on my keyboard here. So I get to a key, right? Now that key, there we go. I can play that over and over. I can play that key over and over and it works well with the music. It sounds like it works and hits on every single point. Again, let me do that again. So I just start off by going down the scale. So that's that one key that seems to just work no matter when I play it. And in this case, that key is A flat, all right? So I'm just gonna go right up to the key of this song here and I'm gonna go to A flat, it's minor. And then you see how it changes the display of what keys are acceptable. So you can like customize this if you want to, um, but I'm looking and seeing, okay, these are the keys that's in A flat. Now, unless you're just a piano player and you know all your scales and keys and you can do this by ear, then this don't apply to you, player. <laughs> but for me, I'm going to check this, right? I'm going to check this and see. I'm going to be like, okay, cool. So we got uh, we got D flat, E flat, E, you know what I'm saying? G flat, A flat, B flat, B. All right, those are the keys that are within the A flat scale. So as I'm playing this, I'm just going to play along on that same scale on my little keyboard here. And if it sounds right, if every note is right, then I know that that's the correct key that I need to be in. Cool. Sounds like it works to me, all right? So that's how you find the key for your auto-tune. Again, it's important to find that key first and then go ahead and, and then you can record. So before I start recording, I'm going to actually turn up a little reverb, man. You know I like a little reverb. You know I like that reverb, baby. You gotta be wavy, baby. 
Uh, I'm gonna turn up that reverb. You know what? Let me get a little delay too. That's gonna help me to sound my best. All right. And you know what? If I'm going with that future sound, I might even want a little uh flanger on this track too. So I'm and I'm just gonna adjust my delay a little bit so it's not so bright. I'm just adjusting the H delay. I'm going to create a, uh, a template real soon with all the Waves plugins that I want. If y'all want that uh, Waves plugin template, uh, the Wavy Way template, leave a leave a little comment below. Let me know that y'all want that template and I get it up for you. All right. Um, boom. So this is, how I, this is how I rock with that. Boom, boom, boom. I got my H delay. And I'm going to actually go ahead and insert this flanger. I like this meta flanger, man. It, it just works so good. And I'm going to actually turn this mix control down since I put it right on the track. Now, I know y'all, somebody else said, you're supposed to put time-based effects as a send in return, way. I can do what I want to do. So, I got my little flanger. We're going to see how that sounds, all right? So, let's go in the booth, shall we? So, this is how you set up the auto-tune. And this is how you sing, even if you can't sing. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Is your boy wavy? Is your boy wavy? to do anything else to that man that was that was fun you can see now auto tune is a fun way um an easy way to make stuff sound good to make your singer sound like they in key um it works pretty simply as long as you have the right key um you got to find the right key so find a method that works for you check out mixed and key um uh, that might work for you it's a, a software application called mixed and key i never used it before but uh, a lot of people say that they've used it and, and they get good results from using that to find the key of their record so um try that or just download the little piano app or you know, if you got a keyboard or piano somewhere in the studio, play around on that until you find the root key like I showed y'all before, all right? I want to shout out to the Noisy Neighbors, man. This is production team, bro. They got some heat, man. I'm going to make sure I leave some links and all of that so y'all can follow them, subscribe to them because they cold, man. They produce this beat. And, uh, man, I just want to thank them for letting me use this joint today. It's, a, it's some heat. I might just put this joint out. You know what I'm saying? You might have to. Y'all might hear this uh, coming to a, a, a store near you, all right? Make sure y'all hit up wavywayne.com. And thanks again for everybody who didn't already cop the template. And everybody who didn't already, you know what I'm saying, purchase the shirt. Man, y'all are <laughs> dope, all right? Keep on being dope. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you want to hear uh, on the next tutorial. And uh, yeah, be dope. <laughs> This a model tune for that ass now. This a model tune for that ass now. This the model tune for that ass now. This the auto tune, how it go now.
Wavy went on YouTube going ham. Wavy went on YouTube, yes I am. Wavy went on YouTube doing songs. Wavy just shot a music video. <laughs> I'ma be playing with y'all. I can't leave, I love it too much. I can't leave, yeah, I love it too much. It's the wavy way to put a day. It's the wavy way to put a day. It's the wavy way to put a day. Be dope, be dope. I got some reverb on. I got to blow some wavy way dot Go and copy one. This is how they use auto tune, baby. This is how you lose all of them, baby. <laughs> yeah, this is how you use all of them, baby. You know what I'm about. I got a clean sprite. You know what I'm saying? I'm sipping on that dirty sprite. <laughs> Sight. Turn up. And that's how you, <laughs> and that's how you <laughs> use auto to the tune.